through the gate. Feel like shoeless Joe walking through the cornfield. Into the field of dreams, baby. Session stand and restrooms are gone. There she is. Infield of Metrolina. Turns one and two. I'd have to look in the book. I think it was like 2002 or something.
rough and looking for old Starlight programs. Do it. Ticket booth from the old Starlight Speedway, Monroe, North Carolina. I would say the only thing that remains the track site itself is now ball fields. This thing got a nice memorial. Okay, there's the fish fair in Pageland, South Carolina. What's this place called? Boogs? Uh, Goobs. Goobs, Goobs uh, restaurant and a liquor store. Directly behind this store. building is the old Pageland Beach Speedway. Somewhere in all of that. Yeah, we are about to walk into the thick of it of Pageland Speedway. Here we go. Possibly one of the fence posts here at Pageland, which is not too far from the old Biscayne. And you can clearly see you can follow this where it's ra raised up all the way around. Okay, here's our only picture of Pageland. I'm not 100% sure, but this could be it. Yeah, we're going to go with it because, I mean... Okay, on this picture, I think that's a Pepsi sign. You see a tall board and a smaller one to the... Height-wise, so left and right. Let me see your phone for just a second. We got the tall board. All right. And the other two right here. Oh, I want went out my screen. We have the thick board. Okay, the old Chira South Carolina Speedway. Didn't mean to get in front of you, buddy. You're fine. Look at the fence right here, Kyle. Uh huh. It's about like a size of 35 race track. Uh 
Uh-huh. I really think the racing here is phenomenal. A little small bank racetrack. Okay, we're at the old Hartsville Speedway, which is adjacent to the Darlington Dragway. There's the old concession stand and restrooms that was in the infield. And I am standing on what would have been probably turns three and four. Let's see if I can get a little better picture here. That little dot's where I'm at. It's easier to see this track from the sky. This would have been one of the turns. I'm gonna say I bet you most of this stuff's look at that though. Right here. What's that? Individual sponsor signs. Uh, national stuff, drag racing nationals. Tell you what, there's plenty of toilet paper and I'm about to have to dump a load. Yeah, this is all. If there was anything in here from the round track, I mean, I think I'd about have to call the guy because he was so cool. You know what I'm saying? Inside yeah. the concession stand of the Hartsville Speedway that closed in 1986. 78 to 86. Oh my gosh. A big surge cooler. I'd like to have that. <laughs> I can't get the door open. Can you come right here, guy? The tree branches are probably back. So we've got a big old nice looking cooler, better than the Mexican cooler we've got for boss. God, I got poked in the eye. All this for a raccoon to attack me, wasn't it? Yeah. Turn down there on the other end. Yeah. Okay, this would have been the view from where the grandstands were. Looking at the track. Old concession stand behind that trailer. Down the back stretch. Into three. Into four. And we got another building here. It probably had something to do with the dirt track too. And we found out it's the restrooms. Probably no souvenirs in there that we're going to want. No. That's the first time that door's been open in probably 30 years. It, it looks like Okay, we are in the infield of the old Coastal Speedway in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I think the only part of Myrtle Beach that has not yet been developed. This is it. This is it. The last frontier. This would have been coming off one of the corners. And 
down one of the straightaways. The old ones here. Only an old telephone pole in the debris field may have served some electrical purpose in the lots of racing days. Nevertheless, here is the ghost on the coast and the stories it has to tell. And we have figured out, right here's where we're standing. If we go back to, right there is a 1951 aerial. We are at the exit of turn two. The little bank you see with the tree line, that would have been the inside of the racetrack. We would have come off of two and down the back stretch, which is now the parking lot for what is it, Captain Hook's Adventure Golf? Yeah, something like that. My car is sitting well, on what would have been the inside of the uh, back stretch. Yeah, this this is clearly. A and there's the tree line. That would have been the inside of the racing surface. MRN presents the Coastal 100 from the Coastal Speedway in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. A little overcast today. Track probably not going to take a whole lot of rubber. And we're out for the first couple of laps for practice. And down through the turn number one and through turn number two. Out of turn number two and down the back stretch comes Kyle Jones. Down the back stretch at Coastal Speedway in South Carolina. A blistering lap at 22 mile an hour. <laughs> 